The blessing and wisdom of our sweet Lord Jesus is with us, heart dwellers. Well, this week has been a real struggle. I've been fighting against fatigue, and I guess that happens after a big project. Some drives are not in production yet, but they should be any day now. I've been fighting against fatigue like I've never had before, and along with it a certain degree of mental numbness. And the Lord began speaking to me right away tonight, and He said, There is little time left. Stop dragging your feet and get in gear, my love. Please, do not allow yourself to be lulled to sleep. This is the enemy stealing grace from you. I have told you what to do with these weeks ahead, and nothing has changed. Here I go again, Lord. My feelings are tugging me in the other direction. My flesh is saying, It's all good. You have plenty of time. Enjoy your life. Years from now, the rapture will happen. Wow, I've been struggling with that temptation. And the Lord answered me, and he said, Claire, your people have more faith in me than you do. Did you know that? They are more astute and tuned in than you are. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Yes, Lord, I am. But the feelings are not something I have control over, are they? You can allow them, or you can cut them off. Which way do you want to go with this? It's going to happen suddenly when no one is expecting it. Suddenly, when no one is expecting it. That's part of your problem. It doesn't feel that way to you either, because you are under the cloud of unconsciousness spread over this nation. The part of your mind that is not regenerated in the Holy Spirit is not expecting it. That is what's being generated. Things will continue on as usual. Nothing will change. Many people feel this way. You are part of the many in this respect. And at that point, guys, I really felt like I needed to go to the Bible promises and get a confirmation of what, who I was talking to. And I opened the Bible promises. What do I open to? 1 Thessalonians 4.16 For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. The Lord said, how's that for confirmation? It's right on. (laughs) Continuing on, the enemy has tried to throw a blanket of complacency over you. You must fight it off with a word. Renounce it and kindle my words of faith in your heart. There's a web of unconsciousness that everything is just all right and will go on and on tomorrow, just as it has yesterday and the day before. This is held in place by the media, and it's a web of complacency to lull Americans into a false sense of security. As in the days of Noah, That means it will come upon you suddenly. Your doubts about the rapture happening are the result of the enemy's campaign to lull America into this deep sleep, unaware of the plight of the rest of the world and how very fragile and vulnerable your nation really is. Only those who are aware of Scripture and the end times are convinced that at any moment Life on this planet will be changed irreparably. They are laughed and scoffed at for being ignorant, but in truth it is those who are not paying attention that are the uninformed and will be caught just as unprepared as those in Noah's day when the fountains of the deep suddenly opened up beneath them and they had nowhere to go. I do want to address this sense of tomorrow will be as today, or even better. I have made you aware of this thinking because it's poisonous to the truth and is laid across the earth like a web, convincing man he has millions of years to work out his problems. Total lies. Overnight this planet could meet its end. One well-placed meteorite and it would be all over. Yet I have held back the hand of judgment and stayed the execution of justice. 
but not for much longer. I have given you license to enjoy your work for me as time narrows down to that decisive moment. It will truly be a surprise if you're taken up with your work. Is it not better for you than carrying this heavy burden that at any moment life on earth could end? I do want you to enjoy your last days on earth and yet bring forth fruit for the kingdom. I want you to be an example, a shining light. That's why I've asked you to continue working on in those things that will bring souls closer to me. My people, truly, you are being rocked into lullaby land where everything just goes on and on and on. It is a major deception to control you and keep you in line until the moment is right and then you'll be caught totally unaware and off guard. People will be saying, nothing like this has ever happened to our country. How can this be happening? That will be repeated on the streets and in the bedrooms of your country. You have prepared your hearts, your relatives and your friends, and you're waiting in a holding pattern, doing your part to continue the harvest of souls. I'm so proud of you who have been witnessing even when it was awkward. Though you may not have seen instant results, you planted seeds and they will come alive when the events foretold begin to manifest. In the meantime, labor for me, not with crushing time constraints, but make it a labor of love for me, consistently, so that your lamps will be blazing in that dark hour. Much of what you have done that seems fruitless will bear a heavy harvest when you're gone. In this moment, you have no way of knowing what will succeed and what will fail. But I want to tell you this truth to encourage you. Not one word of mine, spoken through you, will return to me void. Much shall take deep root in that hour. Much repentance will burst forth with cries for mercy. And that will finally open the door that has been closed, so closed, to me for decades. Take heart. Don't be lulled into complacency. Continue to carry on your work for me until that very last moment so that your lamps are shining brightly for the darkness will be so thick that no one will be able to see but your light will shine and it will be the only thing shining in that darkness.